Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Welcome to Cool Happenings Tech Accessibility Channel and today it's about the Android device and I would like to talk about how we may well, uh, tweaks and do some you know, little, some small tweaks on our Android handphones. And by doing this, we will be able to reduce quite a bit the load on our uh, Android phones RAM, reduce the load on the processor, save battery, and also at the same time, Save on your cellular data if you're on cellular plan. And you can do this all without any app whatsoever. So to do this, you need to have your Android phone, obviously, and you need to go into the settings. Now it depends on your Android model, but you may have to adjust to how I, what I'm going to explain. But the basic uh, point is you need to get to enter the phone and go into its settings. So now I'll go into my, I'm using a Pixel 2 running on Android 9, which is Android Pie. And so let me show you how you may adjust or do certain small tweaks to save on all what I just mentioned. You know, reduce the load on your RAM, reduce your handphones processor load, save battery and also save cellular data if you're on cellular plan, okay? So now let's go to settings. I will activate settings using uh, Google Assistant. Open settings. Okay, so once settings is, you run settings, then swipe till you find uh, about about your phone so swipe in settings or open settings then swipe till you find about let's go there right now let's swipe connected device apps and notification battery display sound storage security and location accounts what accessibility digital well being google system about phone pixel 2 about phone double tap about phone Navigate up button. Now, in order to perform these settings, you will need to first uh, activate developer mode. And to activate developer mode, you need to go. Uh, let me show you where to go. So you start swiping. Pop out phone. Search settings. Help and feedback owner. Device name Eli's Android. Google account Arvin's phone number. An emergency if legal information. Regulatory labels. Sim status. It model and hardware. Mod I N E I. Android version, IP address, FA80, 400, Wi-Fi MAC address, Bluetooth address, send feedback, build number, PQ3A, 190A01.002. Okay, you need to swipe till you okay, go to build number and double tap. You will need to double tap. I'm already a developer, so I'll not be able to do it, but this is where you go. Go to settings, go to about your phone, then go to developer, build number, once you're in build number, you need to double tap um, seven times, seven times double tap on bill number in your phone's uh, about settings. So let's double tap. You are already a developer. My case, I get the notification. No need, you're already a developer. So I don't have to. Once you've done this, then you go back. Now we, let's go back. We, we should. Uh, Send feedback about this device. Bluetooth address 40 okay. 4836-3D9FD. Let me go back. Natural 38 to navigate. Settings. I got phone. Now, two. once you've done that, you next you need to go to uh, your phone settings. Go back into your phone settings and go into your phone's 
system, system setting. So it should be just you know, my pixel too. It will be above, about, just above, about. System languages time backup updates. Yeah. Double tap here. System navigator. So once you're in your phone system settings, so let me repeat. First, uh, now I'm going to repeat it. Uh, go into your phone settings, go into about, then double tap on uh, build number seven times to activate developer options. Once you have done that, then go back out of the go into the main settings and go into system, system settings. When you're in your system settings, then swipe, start swiping. System, search settings, help and feedback, languages and input, board, gestures, active edge on, squeak, date and time, backup, on, advanced, reset options, multiple users, developer options, system update. Here is where you find developer options. Go into advanced, go into your system settings and go into advanced settings. Then swipe till you know, find developer options and double tap on developer options. Let's go there. Navigate up, but system, search settings, help and feedback, languages, and gestures, date and time, backup, on, reset options, multiple users, developer options. Developer options, double tap. Developer options. Now, here Navigate is where you need to do some tweaking. This is where the, your actions you take will come into play in order to save. Reduce RAM load, reduce processor load, save battery at the same time, save on your quota if you're on your cellular plan, save on your cellular data plan, okay? So let's, now we should swipe till you get, first you swipe till you get to animations, basically turn all of the animation settings to off. Let me show you what to do, so let's swipe. Developer options, search settings, on, switch on, memory, AVG 2.0. Desktop backup pack. Stay awake. Squid. Enable Bluetooth HC. OEM unlocking. Connect to the internet. Or running services. View and control currently. Web view implementation. Automatic system update. System UI demo mode. Night mode. Always off. Quick settings developer tiles. Debugging. USB debugging. Revoke US. Bug reports. Select what? Force full G. Enable view entry. Select debug. Wait for the verify apps, model buffers on camera laser set, feature flags, enable GP, system tracing, networking, wireless display, enable Wi Fi, connected Mac, red, mobile data, all, tethering hardware, app, default USB, show Bluetooth, disable apps, disable Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth audio set, Bluetooth audio bit, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth audio, maximum connected, input, show tabs, show visual, pointer location, drawing. Show surface, show layout, force RTL, window animation, transition animation, animator duration scale, and transition okay. animation scale, animation off. Here you go, let's go. One more left. Window animation scale, animation off. Okay, basically, animations are what you see, you know, those um, visual effects you get on your phone when you are, for example, closing an app, switching screens. Um, sometimes even text animations, all those animations will use, take up load on your RAM and also on your processor. But by turning all these off, all these uh, animation settings off, there will be no load, I mean, or much, much reduced load on your RAM and also your processor uh, activity. So that's, I've said all this of double tap on Windows. Uh, Force RTL layer, window animation scale, animation off. Window animation scale, you should double tap. Alert window animation scale, animation off. Check. Mm, you get a few options, I check off. Animation scale 0.5x. You get the scaling, you know, the how, how large should the animation icons or the bar, you know, animation bars or the activities, they we may appear as an Icon is a menu. How large should they be? There's off, there's 0.5. Animation scale 1x. There's one, one times. Animation scale 1.5x. 1 1.5x means 1.5 times. It means it'll be 1.5 times larger than its uh, normal value. Animation scale 2x. 2x. Animation scale 5x. 5x. Animation scale 10x. 10x. And there's all. Window animations. Animation off. Checked. I've checked it also, I'll double tap again to set it to off. 
Developer options. Window animation scale. Animation off. Window animation scale. Animation off. Swipe right. Transition animation scale. Animation off. Transition animation scale. So when you know when there's transitions, how large should the transitions be? I set this to off. So you can go in here. Alert transition animation scale. Animation off. Check. And the same thing, you get a few options. Animation scale point five x. So you understand what I mean. So go to so the left. Animation off. And Check. set this to off. Developer options. Transition animation scale. Animation off. Next swap right. Animator duration scale. Animation off. Animator duration set this to off. So it's, uh, same similar. Set all basically all animation options in the developer setting set it to off. This off. Transition animation. Animator duration scale. Animation off. Animator duration scale off. Simulate secondary displays. None. Okay, I set this to none. There's no secondary displays. Smallest wind. 411p. Leave this as it is. Display cutout. Device default. Leave this as it is. Hardware accelerated rendering. Leave this. Force GPU rendering. Force use of GPU for 2D drawing. Switch off. Okay, leave this to off. Show GPU view updates. Flash views inside windows. Show hardware layers. Debug GPU overdraw. Debug non rectangle. Force 4 XMSA. Disable HW overlays. Simulate color space. Media. Disable USB audio routing. Monitoring. Strict mode enabled. Flash profile GPU rent. Apps. Apps. Don't keep activities. Destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it. Switch off. Don't keep activities. Destroy as a uh, user leaves the app. Uh, well, you can leave it on, but I currently set this to um, off. Background process limit. No background processes. Background process. This is very important. This is background processes, which means even if your phone is on the home screen, the apps running in the background will be running continuously. Either you know refreshing themselves, re-downloading, re-updating themselves, and this will guaranteed to take your use of RAM and you know increase processor load, RAM load, and obviously will use your battery as well. So set this to off. Alert background process limit. Standard limit. The standard I've selected, I'll select uh, none. No background processes checked. No background, I've checked this, so check it. Make sure this is checked. Developer options, background process limit, no background processes. And that's it. By doing this, uh, you know, disabling all the animations and disabling background processes altogether, you will, I guarantee you, you will see a mark increase in your battery consumption, it will be markedly, uh, you know, reduced you'll see much less RAM usage and processor load will be reduced markedly by just making this four small tweaks in your developer settings. You can check it, you know, I mean, I can't prove it right now because there's no, I mean, you have to experience it by yourself, but you can check it by using certain uh, apps like CCleaner to check RAM load, processor load. There are apps like CCleaner which can do it and you will be able to see that your RAM load has in fact, the RAM usage has been reduced, processor load has been reduced, and you notice also you have much savings in your cellular data will be saved due to apps not running in the background, you know, and uh, using data to refresh themselves and update for new information. You will save lots of data and battery surely is guaranteed. Okay, a small demonstration. If you like these demonstrations we do, consider subscribing to this channel to receive notifications whenever new and important videos are added and hit the like button because doing so would surely motivate my team and I to make many more accessible based tech tutorials on Windows, Windows, Android and the iOS based platforms all with screen reader users in mind. Right, so see you, see you again. Have a wonderful and amazing day ahead. Bye bye.